use my Amazon links below in the description to purchase your miscellaneous surprise supplies and anything even not related to these videos. Use my Amazon link. You could buy hair shampoo. Yeah. Um, use my Amazon link down below. What's up guys? So glad you could join me today. Welcome to the channel. It's your boy Alan Wade. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell and all that good stuff. So glad you can join me today. Today we'll be embroidering the pot plant embroidery design. You can buy this design on allenaway.com. There's a .pes file meant to be used with the Brothers Embroidery Machines. Guys, we have a bunch of new files available on the site. So if you haven't been there, for a while and you're interested in embroidery designs, I have a large selection. I think we got about 78 designs on there now, going straight to 100. I think I have 100 in the arsenal. I just don't have everything uploaded onto the site yet. So keep on checking back. We have a Marilyn Monroe. We have a Kiss design. We have a dinosaur design, a muscle des bicep design. We have a bunch of different design. We have some silhouettes, Tupac silhouette. Um, we have an m and silhouette that I didn't put up on a website yet. We got plenty, plenty, plenty of new designs. I got to look at my phone real fast to remind myself of some of the other designs that we have. We have a strong banana design. We have a, uh, a lion design. We got so many new designs on the website, guys. So you guys head on over to alanaway.com and buy yourself some embroidery designs if that interests you. But um, let's jump into this video, shall we? Let's go. All right, guys, you see this brother SE600 sewing and embroidery machine. And when you see this machine, you know exactly what time it is. It's time to embroider something awesome. Sometimes it might be time to sew, but right now it's time to embroider something. You see the pot plant design on the screen right here. We're gonna hit end edit and give you some, an embroider, give you some information about the file. It says it's gonna take 27 minutes to stitch out. Not that long for a rewarding file. You see I have my uh, material already hooped up with my tearaway stabilizer underneath. Product links in the description for all that stuff, guys. Um, we're gonna use these colors right here. You see them? Got a green, got another green, got a black, and I got some browns and uh, red. Not gonna be using a white, but we got it there anyway. Um, guys, so um, let's uh, load up our first thread. It says it's black. It's calling for black thread and it's gonna take four minutes to stitch that out. Let's load it up. We got our black thread right here. Boom. Bam. Just that simple. Unfortunately, as you guys probably already know, this machine is sold out everywhere. If you guys find one online, consider yourselves lucky because I can't find one anywhere. I already have one, but I can't find like a, a backup one anywhere. So if you have one, consider yourself really, really lucky. Just gonna press the button right here up above to start. Who would have anticipated that sewing and embroidery machines to be a hot commodity and be sold out everywhere for long lengths and times? But right now, anything that has anything to do with creativity is sold out everywhere. Like, um, it started off with streaming devices, right when COVID-19 hit, streaming devices, you couldn't get them anywhere. Um, and they were releasing them in small batches and every time they were released, they'd be available for a few hours and then they'd be sold out. Then it started being embroidery machines, and no, it started being sewing machines. And then when all the sewing machines became sold out, then it started being embroidery machines and sewing embroidery machines. Now you cannot get these things anywhere. I'm so happy that I got everything that I needed months in advance so that I was uh, solidified and I have my stuff ready to go. So the links that I have down below to purchase this machine, the Amazon links, obviously they're not good because you they're, they're sold out on Amazon. So these videos serves a purpose to, um, for the people that do have these machines, you can go ahead to allenaway.com, like I stated before, and purchase these designs, these files. Cause you see I have my memory stick right here loaded in the side of the machine. You put the file from the website on the memory stick and insert that into the side of the machine. 
and then you can access all the different files on the screen, the touch screen, it is a touch screen, and then you can stitch out those patterns, just do exactly what it says on the touch screen, guys. And this is intended to be a follow along for anybody who, do, who purchases any of those files on my website, there should be a video that goes along with those files so you can follow along and do it with me. Fun activity you can do with family, friends, home, could be a team builder at work, all types of stuff, guys. So uh, make sure you guys visit alanaway.com, buy yourself some channel merch, buy yourself some embroidery files and help support the channel. Just gonna let this thing stitch out. This part right here, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take this moment, hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps the channel out a whole lot. Thank you. All right, so that part is done. If you look on the screen right here, it'll tell you exactly what is next. This next part is gonna take one minute. It's gonna be the soil. Take one minute. I'm gonna use uh, this color right here for that. You can't really see it that good, but let's, uh, let's switch this stuff out. All right, so when you switch this out, you just, boom, take the thread out, wrap it up, make sure it doesn't get all over the place. Use your handy dandy spool saver, product links in the description for that. I think that's still available on Amazon. All right, put that to the side, the black thread to the side. Then we're going to, oh, look at this. This has never been used. Let me open it up real fast. Where is my, embroidery shears oh i got it i got it never mind all right so boom the top load it up boom boom down below around like that boom boom a lot of skills involved on this channel right a lot of skills we're doing a lot of different things on here I just had to reach over and grab my embroidery shears, y'all, real fast. Here they are right here, product links, once again. Amazon product links available for these embroidery shears in the description below. All right, so this part is real fast. It's just gonna stitch out a little like oval around the bottom of the flower pot. And that's a black flower pot that you guys are looking at right here. So just let that stitch out. Only gonna take one minute and um, then the next part is going to take 10 minutes. It's going to be a bud. The outline, we're going to use this green right here to stitch that part out. This part shouldn't take but shouldn't take but one second. So let that thing stitch out. Who is this? Is this a green or is this a brown? I think it's like a green. Yeah. So we're going to let this, uh, we're going to load this up in a second. Video is very dark today, right guys? Yeah, a little bit dark, a little, little different feel. I like to switch it up a little bit sometimes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So, um, occasionally guys, I have people uh, email me about digitizing their designs. And I do digitize designs, right? I do digitize designs. And I also have some people working with me now that help me digitize designs so that I can take on more clients, right? So here's a fun fact, right? Or well, something that happened recently. So um, somebody contacted me and we were going back and forth through email. They sent me their design, which is what you would do if you want your design digitized, alanaway.com. No, um, um, adubproductions at gmail.com. adubproductions at gmail.com. Send me a copy, a photo of your image and I'll tell you how much. Now, what they said was when I got back to them with the price, they said, hey, um, whatever, 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 by the way, you might want to reconsider your pricing because, um, digitizing costs anywhere from this price to that price. And that's what they told me. Right. So guys, that is true. Like there's a certain industry standard, I guess, that people pay for digitizing, but my price is not high. I don't consider my price high, um, but other people might consider it high. It might be above industry standard, right? But this is my take on it. My honest take on it is I'm a videographer. I make videos. That's what I want to do. If you guys want me to digitize your designs, I'm going to try to help you guys as much as I can. 
but at the same time, people have to understand, and I need you guys to understand, when you start your businesses and when, and when you go in business, no matter what it is, you have to be fair with your pricing. You have to be fair to your pri with your pricing, not only to consumers, but you also have to be fair to your pricing with yourself, regarding yourself and how much you think you're worth, okay? So, if, you're think if you think you're worth one price, then there's nothing wrong with that, right? But if I have other skills and I do other things that I have to compromise and I have to hold off on to do work for you, my pricing has to be accordingly. I have to price my, my services accordingly because I could be making a video, right? And arguably, actually not arguably, especially these days, Actually, making a video is more beneficial to me and on paper than digitizing someone's design. All right, so I have to ch charge accordingly. And I'm not charging anything astronomical. There's plenty of people that still use me. There's plenty of designs that I've done lately. There's plenty of designs that I have in the works right now that uh, you know, clients want to be digitized. Clients want to get their logos and stuff digitized. But um, yeah, I just wanted, just wanted to share that story with you guys to let you guys know that um, sometimes when you're in business and if you have a skill or, or you feel like you do things a little bit better than other people or you feel like you have more value to offer than normal people would because it, it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with um, charging accordingly because you're worth what you're worth. And if you feel like your services render that cost, then that's what you should charge, regardless of what anybody else is charging, right? I'm quite sure years ago, nobody thought that manufacturers would sell a t-shirt in the store for $100, $150, $200. But guess what? You can buy a shirt in the store for $5, $10, and you can buy a shirt in the store for hundreds of dollars. That's a thing. And depending on who you get to, 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 to help your dreams come to life, you might pay a higher price. You might pay a premium. You might pay a premium because you want Tiffany to design your, uh, your, your, your bridal dress or whatever, or your prom dress, you know? And when you get A-Dub Productions to design, to digitize your file, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not an astronomical premium, but like, I'm just trying to tell you guys that like, you have to charge what you're worth and you can't compromise. You can't compromise because your time is more valuable than any amount of money in the world. All right. If it's one thing that we all have in common, when you're out of time, you're out of time, right? There's no, no amount of money can bring back time that you lost. So you should spend your time doing what it is that you want to do and what it is that you value. And if you are not spending your time doing that, you should be compensated an amount that you feel is, 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 is adequate to, 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 to sacrifice that time that you would be spending doing something else. All right. That makes sense to you guys. That's all I want. A little, little story. I like to tell stories every now and then, things that are on my mind. But guys, let this part right here stitch out. Let me know what you think about what I said down in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget, hit me up if you want your, your, uh, your file digitized. All right, hit me up. Email me a picture of your image and, you know, we'll see what we can work out. All right, nothing too complicated, nothing too crazy. You've seen what I've been doing lately. Um, if you're designing somewhere like this, I, I can make it happen, you know? So let me know down in the comments below. The more intricate, of course, the price goes up because it spends, it costs more time to, to, to create that file. All right, let this part stitch out and I'll be right back. If you have any questions about anything that's going on in this video, don't hesitate to leave a comment down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you really, really fast. Thank you. All right, guys, design coming out. Good design looking okay. This part is almost done. The leaves are looking greener than green from the, they look stickiest of the ickiest right now. 
and we are about to finish up when the SE600 stops. It finishes the last portion, slows down, and then it stops. Looks like that. Yep. So now, lift up, swipe one time, take the thread out, wrap it up, make sure it's cool, All right? Boom. Now, this part right here is the base is the base of the uh, of the uh, pot right here. It's gonna fill in some of the uh, pot. So what colors? I'm gonna make this red. Okay, we're gonna use our red thread right here. So let us load up the machine with our red a thread. Yes, yes, yes. Load it up. Boom. Boom. Easy peasy, guys. This design is easy. Well, it looks good. You can stitch it onto denim jackets. You can stitch it onto shirts. You can stitch this on to sweatshirts. You can stitch it on any any anything you like, guys. Pillows, quilts, covers, comforters, book bags. You know, make a statement. Put it on a hat. Now, this machine does not have a hat hoop, but I've seen people online um, hoop hats with a four x four hoop. Hey, it's a way to do it. Uh, I wouldn't like to flatten out my hat like that, but hey, you can do anything that you want to do. There's no rules to this. All right, that's what I'm trying to say. There's no rules. So this part right here is um, the inside of the flower pot. This is where the detail goes in and you start to see the design really, really, really come together. So like I said, AlanAway.com, guys. Buy yourself some channel merch. Help support the channel. Buy yourself some files. Help support the channel. Keep on checking back for files to help support the channel. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell everybody you know that has an embroidery machine about the site. Tell all your friends on Etsy. And I'm trying to hold out. A lot of people su suggested that I uh, make an Etsy account and start selling on Etsy. But, um... You know, I'm kind of like a rebel, kind of like a like to do the opposite, like to do my own thing, like to learn how to how to start things from the ground up. So that's why I haven't did it yet. Not to say that I'm not gonna do it, but you know, tell your friends on Etsy that Alan A. Wade is around. You know, AlanAWade.com. They can buy embroidery files from there and keep on checking back. Most importantly, keep on checking back on the website because I'm gonna be uploading different images different designs all the time because I have a lot, a whole heap of them available, okay? So let me let the rest of the stitch out and I'll be right back with you guys. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. Finishing up that flower pot right there, looking good. That thing looks real good, yeah. All right, we're gonna take this part out and we're gonna change to the next thread, guys. This part is going to be the outline, the outline of the whole thing. So we're gonna put in some black thread, put back in that black thread. It's gonna be the outline of the uh, pot, I mean the plant, along with the um, stem of the plant. This part right here, hmm. It, it makes the it makes the, the flower pop. All right, it makes it pop out from the uh, actual thing. So this part is pretty cool. All right, so let's let this part right here stitch out. I'm just gonna press go. Let's go ahead. All right. I hate when it does that. I'm gonna hold it down a little bit. I hate when it does that, guys. I hate that. There it goes again with that crap. Stop doing that. It does that when, it does that when it's going through a thick amount of thread. All right, and right there it was going through a thick amount of thread, thread on top of thread. It, um, it, it does that, it, like flaps around. So when I make my designs, I try not to put a lot of thread on top of thread, but sometimes you can't, you can't avoid it. You know what I mean, when it, when certain parts of a design. Let me know what you guys think of it so far. How's it looking? Looks like a looks like a uh, pot leaf. Let me know down below. Oh, let me know down below if you smoke pot. How about that? I'm interested in how many people in Dub Nation actually smoke pot. Interested in knowing that? Let me know down in the description below in the comment section down below. I don't. I probably would. 
I probably will later on in life, but I don't smoke. Don't smoke at all, don't smoke pot, don't smoke anything. I'm not gonna say that I haven't, because I have. Um, when I go to Jamaica, I smoke. But you're in Jamaica, you know what I mean? That's where the best, the best weed is. So, so, I mean, why not? Why not take advantage? That's like going to Philadelphia and not getting a cheesesteak. You know what I mean? You go to Jamaica and don't get any weed, like, why, <laughs> why you're in Jamaica? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Let this part right here stitch out and I'll be right back, guys. If you have anything you want to ask me, leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you real fast. I always respond fast. And guys, this part is just about finished. I wanted to show you guys this part because I'm going to hold it down a little bit when it starts jumping. It's just a little trick that I do. I don't put too much pressure on it, but when it comes, when it gets down here, watch. It's going to start snagging a little bit. I think I'm probably going to change the needle, but I just like put a little bit of pressure on it just so it doesn't jump too much. Yes, pretty much not much you can do to avoid that right there, but you guys see what I did right there and that helped it in my opinion. I don't know, but uh, that part is done and one more part guys. We just got the inner workings of the um, bud and we're going to use uh, this green right here for that. So let's switch colors. Looking good so far. What do you guys think? Looking good so far. That's the pot. Pot plant. Changing this thread out one more time for the final time and then we'll analyze our design and see how it came out. All right, switch that out for the bright, bright green, mint green right here. Put that in here. Nice and easy like. Blatow, blatow. All right, boom, pull that through. And this time I'm gonna trim the edge right here. Then I'm gonna let it go. Let it go. Right. And it's just gonna do the inside of the plant. I'm just gonna, if it's gonna jump, I'm just gonna let it jump, whatever. And you're gonna need to trim these little, small, little jump stitches all throughout this. But this part finishes up the design. Check it out while it does its thing. What do you guys think about this file? What would you do with this file? Where would you, where would you put it on? Let me know in the comment section. What would you put this on? Would you put this on a shirt? Would you put this on a hat? Would you put this on a book bag? What would you put this on? Let me know down in the comments below. I know what I would put it on. I will put it on like the, the breast, like the breast part, like where the pocket goes of like a jacket or something like that. Or like a, like a hoodie. I'll put it on like the breast part of a hoodie. Kind of like make it look like a, like, like a logo. Kind of like the polo logo or something like that. I'll put it right there. Pop. I think that'd be dope on a hoodie. Yep, I think that'll look awesome. Yeah, that's just my opinion. So we got one, two, three more of these little accents to do and then this design is over with so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below like this video if you haven't liked it already subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel already don't forget to follow me on instagram instagram.com backslash adel productions facebook follow the facebook group facebook.com backslash adel productions that's our facebook group I'm gonna, I gotta start posting on there. I gotta start telling you guys some inside information on that group, so stay tuned for that. But if you guys wanna talk, talk amongst yourself, facebook.com backslash Productions right there. And just like that, this design is finished, guys. And when it's finished, you get this note on the screen that says, your design is finished, embroidery finished. Press OK to acknowledge that, and it'll be ready to embroider another one. But let's take this one out right here and examine it a little bit. Boom, swipe, release, take off, and let's see what we gotta trim. All right, all right, all right. What do you guys think? It looks good, right? Obviously we're trimming this, trimming that right there. We gotta trim all these, right? We gotta trim this, we gotta trim that, and that is about it. Let me clean it up. Be careful you don't cut anything extra, guys, because these uh, stitches are made a little bit loose, so you only want to trim 
what you need to trim. And it's really, really easy, especially with this design, to trim thread that does not need to be trimmed and then your design will totally be screwed up. Pretty much be screwed up, yeah. So you don't wanna do that. Don't wanna fall victim to sabotaging your own uh, a design. Sabotaging, compromising your own designs. <sighs> All right, one more thread right here. And that's pretty much it. Yep, I see one more right here, that I could, but it's not too bad. So what do you guys think down in the comments below? How do you guys think it came out? What do you guys think it looks like? I think it looks great. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, guys. AllenAway.com to purchase this file. One dollar to purchase this file on AllenAway.com. One dollar. Purchase a group of them, and you can purchase a flash drive with a whole bunch of files on it. When I get up to 100 subscribe, 100 uh, designs, that, that's when I'll put up the next flash drive. You'll be able to purchase a flash drive with all of the embroidery files, 100 embroidery files for $80. You can't beat that. The savings on that is ridiculous. All right, guys? All right, you guys, you see it. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for more embroidery designs. Make sure you guys visit alanaway.com to purchase your embroidery file today. I have many, many different files available on the website. So like I said, keep on checking back because we're uploading designs every single week. Every other day we're uploading new designs. Just put this one up live, so check it out. Helps the channel out a lot. Use my Amazon links below in the description to purchase your miscellaneous surprise, supplies and anything even not related to these videos. Use my Amazon link. You can buy hair shampoo. Yeah. Um, use my Amazon link down below. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. It's your boy at home. Subscribe, like, comment. Peace. Turn up that. Crank it up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?